ever art. I'm so excited. I've never gotten an arc ever in all the giveaways that I've won. From Read Love Listen, this is a video I wanted to do about me winning a giveaway. I won a giveaway from Goodreads and I actually won a book. I got this right before I moved. I don't want y'all to see. But um, I haven't really had a chance. Just got the book about a month ago, right before I moved. But in the process of moving and other things of that nature, I haven't really had time to really look at it. I also have won some Goodreads, Kindle, Amazon, you know, Amazon Kindle, uh, giveaways books I got from the library I rechecked out these three books um, because I didn't get to finish them and I'm still listening to only human on audible like I was saying this video is about one of the books this is actually the first ever physical copy of a book that I have ever won I have also won other giveaways but they're always online or you know, like a ebook, a Kindle, unboxes, oh. or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> this book is called Thirty Before Thirty, and I have it upside down, but it's so funny because <laughs> it's called Thirty Before Thirty. Oh, it's an arc. I this is my first ever arc. I'm so excited. I've never gotten an arc ever in all the giveaways that I've won. And I've never been to any uh, book conventions. So, wow, this is awesome. So it's called How I Made a Mess of My 20s and You Can Too, 30 Before 30. It's, oh, 30 wow. Essays by Marina Schifrin. I hope I pronounced that right. And this book actually is right on time. So I think this will be pretty interesting to read as I embrace my late 20s, heading to my 30s, as some people say, dirty 30. Mm, yeah. But so I am so excited because I have never, ever, ever gotten an arc. I've always wanted an arc. And yeah, I just wanted to do this little unboxing or just speak about the book that I won. First ever arc that I've ever won. I want to win more arcs or Hey, just get them sent by publishers. I plan on reading this book this week and finishing it. It looks like it'll be a pretty um, easy read. I love, oh, it's got, I don't know if y'all can see all this. I think that's cute. I'm just flipping pages and looking. And there's, there's artwork in here, you know, pictures, not really artwork. I love it. <laughs> Anyways, I think this will be a really good book because I love it. It kind of reminds me of like a chicken soup for the soul book or, you know, those type of books. I don't know what they're called right now. I'll have to look it up. I'll probably insert it somewhere in this video clip. But anyways, y'all, I hope you like my video. And if you guys like my video, like, comment, subscribe. I am a new booktuber. I would like for you guys to evolve and follow me and I will do a review when I finish this book and like I said this book reminds me of like a chicken soup for the soul or those type of novels and I'm really excited because this is my first arc so I definitely have to read this like like yeah and I'm gonna also read these books I got from the library I guess I could show y'all since it's in the video this first one is, oh my God, I'm holding these books upside down, child. Y'all probably think something wrong with me. Anyways, this book is called The Lie Tree. Honestly, I picked this book because of the cover. And I know they say don't judge a book by its cover. Or Covers don't mean the book is good. But I really wanted this book because I just, I like how it's got the little <laughs> peeled apple. It looks all dirty and dingy. <laughs> I don't know, it looks mysterious and it made me think of like some kind of fairy tale. 
actually, I don't know what this, I honestly don't even know what this book is about, but I am going to read it just because the cover. I'm kind of going back to my old school ways, like when I was growing up in middle school, high school, mostly middle school, beginning of high school, before like to just go to the library and then I would find a book and I would just read whatever I saw like I didn't be like oh this is the popular book at the moment let me read this book or oh I love this author so I have to read this book I just would just pick random books it didn't matter whose book it was what it was about I would just find a book and especially like I would find a book and look at the cover and be like wow this book is beautiful let me let me read this book I love this cover <laughs> it's called all Oh Lord, help me, Lord, help me. Anyways, this book is called All the Ever Afters, The Untold Story of Cinderella's Stepmother by Danielle Teller. I've never heard of this author or this book, but I love fairy tale retellings. Actually, there was a time of my life that that's all that I read was nothing but fairy tale retellings. Vasa in the Nights by Sarah Porter. Of course, I know this is a more well-known book. I know a lot of people have reviewed this on Goodreads and on Goodreads and YouTube. I'm not supposed to be looking at myself. Look at the camera. Anyway, so like I know a lot of people have read this on Goodreads and on YouTube, but I wanted to read it for myself. Just have black and red or some kind of dark. <laughs> I have an aesthetic for this. Um, <laughs> Anyway, I guess you kind of get the gist of what this was about. You know, it's a basically Cinderella's stepmother side of the story. I've read probably every variation of Cinderella. Like, not in the whole world, but you know what I mean. Like, I've read so many different versions of Cinderella. This book says that it is. Ooh, I'm not about to read all that on camera, but I'll maybe try to put something in. But basically, on the back, highlight, <laughs> Kirkus Reviews says, In this urban fantasy take on Russian folktale Valicia the Beautiful, Porter weaves folk motives into beautiful, gripping narrative filled with magic, hope, loss, and triumph, and enthralling magic tinged read about home, family, love, and belonging. Oh, okay, it sounds nice. So it's kind of, oh, somebody said something about Baba Yaga. So, okay. So it's right up my alley, a fairy tale, folklore, retelling. I love those type of books. And it goes along with my black and red. I've actually had this book for a month and I've only, I'm like 2% done. I've been listening to it on the audiobook. I'm actually further along on Audible than I am reading the physical copy. But I wanted to like reading my books and listening at the same time if I'm able to. And so this will be the only one this go around that I will listen to and then read at the same Hi, everybody. So, yeah, the video abruptly cut off. I don't know what happened to the other footage. But basically, I'm closing out the video saying thank you for watching the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And this is actually a throwback video, so I'm re-uploading it. But thank you for watching it, and I have more book videos coming soon. Bye.